guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ingutu i film on love life and faith and if you're joining me for the first time you're welcome if you are returning welcome back well don't forget to like subscribe and share and all the good stuff right all right guys um in today's video you see i have a you know <laughs> hi guys this is lady mokoi so it's tell us about yourself about yourself is not easy yeah but who's lady mokoi well she's um a young person Mm -hmm. Very young. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, um, I'm a law student. A woman of God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman of God. I'm an author. I'm a, a motivational speaker. I'm a coach. Mm. I'm a, I'm a mentor as well. So yeah, I think that sums it all. Come on, the CV. <laughs> She's a lady from Uzozo. <laughs> Video, as you can tell by the title. Lady Mako is telling us how she bought her first car at 21. <laughs> Guys, 21. What were you doing when you're 21? <laughs> 21 in Zambia is like you're young, your mommy's baby, daddy's baby, you're, yeah. you're still a child. So, okay, how did you buy a first car? <laughs> Most uh, people, when they when I tell them my story, of which I don't really share my story uh, of how I bought my first car at 21, the first thing that they the first thing that comes in their mind is maybe I'm a rich kid. Or maybe was it inherited money mm. or what? But it's not that. I lost my dad when I was very young. I lost my father when I was 11 years of age. And then from there, I was brought up by my grandparents, my guardian angels. Mm. Yes. So for me, it was school, 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 school. Unfortunately, or fortunate enough, I don't mm. know if it's fortunate or unfortunately, I, I, my father didn't live in he didn't live as i think he died very young mm -hmm. so he didn't really secure or rather just leave us a, 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 a some monies or leave us a certain sustainable plan for us to even go to school mm -hmm. so we had to go to different places i was kept by my grandparents my young siblings also were kept by other people and oh Oh, so you actually separated? Yes, we actually separated oh. because at that time, mom could not even manage to take the three of us to school. So we had to separate. So I grew up with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. They grew up, one grew up with my mom, the other one grew up with my auntie as well. So that was how it was. So for me, uh, because of that, because of that story, and because my father died quite very young, I purposed to really just want to make it at a very young age because I wanted to just change the narrative. I wanted to just be that change in the family as well. And then worst of all, I'm the firstborn. So being the firstborn child, being the firstborn daughter as well, even when my father died, there was a lot of talk. A lot of people, I remember uh, somebody even said, he has died quite very young, but then the firstborn is a girl. And you know girls, possibly when she reaches grade nine, she's yeah. gonna be pregnant mm -hmm. and she'll even get married at a very young age. And because of that, and you can imagine I was at my dad's funeral and I was overhearing that, you know, but that did not change me. That did not determine my 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 future, that did not determine my my determination as well. So what I had to do, even that, even when I was hearing those stories. I had to be the change and I had to show them that, you know what? Yes, this is the story that you I expected, yeah. but you know what? I can be somebody as well. So because of that, I began pushing in school. All right, guys. So here, there are no excuses for no. She's from a rich family. What? what? No. You know, no. I'm starting from, from zero. Yeah. And yeah. All right. Yeah. This is... This is definitely the per a person who started from zero. Nothing. Not. I didn't have anything. I didn't have, you know, where um, some some a parent left a car, then you sell it, and there's some money or a house. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing, beloved. So here, what I've been grace for a change. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So after this video, a year from now, guys, or oh, anyway, we'll hear how the story goes. Yeah. We should hear to my testimony. So oh my God, after that video, I bought a car. Yeah. You know, I started saving for my house and things like that because she started from zero, so there's nothing like, oh, you know, this yeah. and that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so grade nine, I passed grade 10, I passed. And then my high school was quite interesting. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, my high school time was not as, um, I was not as chachy as, <laughs> you know, as now. I was not a very good girl then. But then, 
when i sit down and really just think of what was causing me to behave the way i was behaving i just came to realize that it caused it, 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 i had so much anger within me mm-hmm. my and also my my um my father's death has had a very big role it had a very big impact to my life so i was not in the right state and i was just trying to find comfort and you know as you are growing up you'll find comfort in no, different places, places and sometimes it can be in wrong places and yeah. then if it's if it's in that place that you are getting a, some sort of satisfaction believe me you you will continue doing that so for me unfortunately i found my my my, my comfort in wrong places with wrong friends and did i go astray <laughs> of course i did of course I did. Not as Choya Pangono, guys. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not as Choya Pangono, guys. But the very, you know, the pattern. And I was very young, mind you. I was very young. But then the pattern, the drinking, the what and what and what and what, you know. Great job. I was still like that. But I think after we wrote our great job exams, you know because i was with my friends and we were so excited yeah but then you know after high school everybody goes to the different places mm-hmm. and then now you remain alone you will not be hanging around with the same friends that you used to hang around with yeah so it really just began dawning and i i i i realized that you know what i was it was me against the world it wasn't me it wasn't me and my friends anymore so now I had to make a very deliberate decision on change. Change did not come very easy. It wasn't it didn't come very easily. Um, I had to to really be very intentional about it. I really had to be very intentional about it. When I brought my grade 12 exams right after I think a month after I told myself I'm not staying at home and then because my grandparents were trying so much to provide for me I still do want to be a burden to them even after I had finished school so I told God I was like God if you can give me any kind of job even just as a maid because what I want is I want to be working and I just want to be able to provide for myself. I do not want to continue, you know, uh, asking money from people. I don't want to continue finding money in wrong ways, you know? So I just told myself, I want to do something. So I remember this one time with my very good friend of mine, we are still very good friends though, of course, after high school and everything, we, we wrote a lot of application letters and we told ourselves we are going we designed up my industrial areas. Mm-hmm. My lady, we we walked. I remember that particular day we walked. And we had but we had looked nice and we kept on dropping tapeleka ku darling, tapeleka ku you know, those trade kings to my application letters. We didn't have great results there, but we had so much faith that something would come out. And the moment we were there, it so happened that when we reached at a particular place, we got to this a man the gate man and he was like you know what there's no way you can come dressed like this looking like this and you think you're going to find a job <laughs> and we even laughed with my friends said really so is this because we're learning we didn't know so we're like oh maybe this is how we're supposed to to we need to change the strategy but then after some time we took the application letters to noah bell i resorted into you know maybe i can just even work as a maid. I remember because I used to stay in Garden. So Garden is nearer to to Olympia. So I started walking to Olympia and knocking on people's doors. Just <laughs> you know what I really just wanted was I was tired of asking and I was tired of I didn't want to be a burden, especially in my grand you know how grandparents are. Uh, but I think again that's something that's like not common with you so nowadays. Like yes. every time people just want it on an easy thing, on like on a easy, silver plate. Definitely. So definitely, people don't want to work, they just definitely. want mommy give me this, daddy give me this and things like that. But then yeah. you know how grandparents are already, they want to really take care of you. Yeah. But then she made a choice to say, Oh, okay, enough of this. Yes, okay. enough of this. And for me, I didn't want to look at what is it that I should do. I the key is in starting small. And many of us don't want to start small. 
yeah. you don't want to go through the process the moment i made up my mind i was already focused and i was already open to do anything that it, that was going to come in my way and because of that i believe so much that god came through so yeah. this time we start going and um fortunate enough i found a job with one of the account i was actually um, an account handler in, in a mobile money booth rather right. so my friend comes and says you know what there's actually somebody who's who has an m10 booth they want somebody who can be working there so you know i've been seeing a lot of memes about girls who work in a booth and i'm just like oh okay <laughs> i was once a booth girl like for real that was my first job and i was getting paid a 300 kwacha in 2015 yeah. when i just completed my grade 12 uh, in 2015 so we went we go there and i started working but even when i was working there i was getting a 300 kwacha as my monthly salary believe me when i tell you that i was focused i was determined and i was also passionate about what i was doing so there's passion, there's determination, there's and there's focus as well. So when I started working there, I began seeing myself in that area. I began, because I was employed by somebody, I began seeing myself employing other people. So when I worked, worked there, for me, it was about gaining the experience. And my mentor uh, was actually my boss. In as much as, yes, I could not go there and tell her, you know what, I'm so inspired by what you do. Mm -hmm. I was being mentored by her on the, at, at, at a very, at a distance. I would see how she would do things. I would see how she would handle us. She was quite tough on us. I would see how she would just make it in her business. And for me, that was a place for me to learn. So I told myself, God, you brought me in this place and I want to utilize this place. I want to use this place as a place where I could just be able to learn and to 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 just know more about this business so that was 2015 2016 came um by the end of 2016 i i got into a place where i told myself i'm not going to work for this woman anymore so i saved money from 2015 to 2016 i began saving money and i told myself i need to open my first booth when you're getting the 300 quarter you're still staying at home at yes i was still staying with my grandparents right. but i was still help out and i would also save money so i managed just to raise about i think about a thousand five hundred quarter yeah. or okay. two thousand thereabouts within the the one year that i was working for that for that lady and i told myself i'm going to start a small business so the first thing i started i started ordering talk time and then sim cards as well and i began i started working on my own i i had a, a small booth and i began working on my own selling talk time selling uh sim cards as well and all six months down the line the business was growing like a mm. business was growing and it was really just happening unfortunately when it was you know it was it's happening big. I didn't speak. <laughs> they stole my money. They stole um, everything that I had. My capital. Everything they stole. Oh my God. Did I take it easy? No. And I was frustrated. I was so disappointed. I felt so much like a failure. But guys, in the process, there's failing. No matter how how long or how much you fell, believe me, you, what's the most important thing is how you stand, how you rise up as well to begin again. So particular time, I just told myself this business, I have stopped it because it's not <laughs> working and they've stolen my money and everything and I was just at home. Well, at the time I was at home, for me really it was a very frustrating because you remember you're just from high school then you yeah. find they come a job job then they steal for you money after you want to become your own boss and after saving for that long after saving for that long they steal your car money but then by the grace of god i did manage to find a job elsewhere so now when i found this job this was a miracle job i always tell people this particular job was nothing but a miracle, miracle job, job because first and foremost i was not qualified for it i was just a great of a school leaver who did not qualify for this job but then the most important thing and 
what really stood out and what really just made me to even work remember for me it was about doing something and i didn't mind how i started so even when i was approached to work at that particular company they did not approach me or rather they did not give me the job to be that salesperson no mm -hmm. but they came to me and they told me we want you to be giving out flyers okay. at shopping malls so i didn't look at no i was my boss at some you know six months ago i was my yeah. own boss and i was doing my own thing how can i be giving out flyers i don't, I, I think you've seen how people at the shopping malls they'll give you flyers and everything when you're working there yeah. that was what i started doing you know, sometimes even past them <laughs> yes sometimes we even past them <laughs> definitely i was maybe you, you might have been past me <laughs> you might have been past me when i was doing that girl i gave my flyers with so much passion as well passion doing things with so much passion and believe me as i was giving my flyers there's somebody that recognized there's somebody that identified something in me without me myself even being able to see it so this time i'm giving out my flyers or at, at at east park mall and then this lady comes through and then i share the flyer to her i smile and i'm explaining about the flyer and everything and then not knowing that that particular person was actually the boss for that particular company mm. because remember i had not even gone to the company i was just told to be giving out flyers uh, so that I can earn something. Actually, my earning was like a 50 kwacha a day as you give out flyers. So for me, it was just, you know, but I'm not knowing that that particular person was the boss. And then she goes like, you know what, I like, is that how you give? Is that how you talk to people? I'm like, yes, not knowing. She's like, oh, okay, that's, this is really good. You know what, I feel like you can work with us. So can you come to our head office? Uh, on Thursday so that you can start work I was so shocked wow so okay at this point really you guys it's about passion and you know not just doing things anyhow because you're saying okay i'm not getting i'm not getting much yes so you just do it anyhow so mm -hmm. at, the, at the end of the day let me just get that money and go home but doing it with so much passion yes. so and also it's about starting from somewhere that was it from that point i started work and when i got into that place I was quite intimidated to be honest because I was working with degree holders this one I've done marketing I've done this I've done my masters and here I was with my great talk but I was so proud yeah. I didn't want to pretend and I was willing to learn mm. so willingness as well for me I went there to go and learn I went there to go and um, and and just serve yeah. So when I got into that place, I I humbled myself and they started teaching me how to do the job. They started teaching me how to do sales, how to use. I didn't even know how to use the computer. You know, it's a it's like my basic school. <laughs> so there was nothing like you've done computer studies, Shanshani, no. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to use computers. I didn't know how to how to do things, how to talk uh, eloquently. I didn't know how to talk to clients. So they began teaching me and I was so humble and so willing to learn. You want them to learn. I just went there as empty. Right. As empty as I was. And they taught me so much. I learned so much from them until I became the best sales um, uh, person now or sales mm. representative for the company. Yeah. Even rose to the ranks. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So from there, I was. I was a property consultant. I've been a property consultant for some time now. From uh, 2016 up to today, I'm still a property consultant where I can, uh, people call me for consultation for their properties. And not only did I just enter into uh, the property consultancy, but because of my willingness to learn, the company saw it fit that I can also learn and do other things so not only was i a property consultant but i was also a um an operations executive i was also somebody that was doing uh conveyancing for different properties as well so this is something that i learned not through going to school but because i was willing and they saw that i was willing to learn they made sure that 
they empowered me with so much wisdom so much knowledge that i may be able to just do the work very well and that is how it all went from sales and sales and sales determination you can't do the sales job without a car so for go my after that my goal was i need to get a car i need to get a car and through the grace of god mm -hmm. not only the grace of god but also determination and also hard work guys you can't run away from hard work you can't run away from hard work if there are people who are watching right now that have been in sales sales is not an easy thing talking to people is not easy <laughs> it's not easy and just for you to convince somebody to to buy a buy product, a product you, you really have to sell the product not only are you selling their product but you're also selling a need to them so you really have to just learn uh, different strategies to use to bring into uh, uh, to make sure that people are purchase whatever products that you are that you're selling. selling yeah so for me it's worked out very well um i so much believe it wasn't by myself i so much believe it was god's grace hello guys putting god at the center of it oh my goodness putting god at the center of it all and having a heart of gratitude this too to a point that even if you have not sold i remember a time even if i have not sold a house in a month I would go back to God and I would say thank you and I would still give my tithe. I would still do and I would still serve. I had no excuse. I had no excuse of what and what. For me, Sunday I'm at church. Saturday I'm going to clean a church. If it means cleaning, if it means uh, praise rehearsal. But I made sure that my job, my work did not interfere with God's the work of God. Work and yeah, the work of God. So that was it. So by the time I was turning 21, mm -hmm. I I had gotten a car. But then when I got the car, the first thing I did first, guys, vision. Okay. <laughs> so if you want God to bless you with something, you have to be positioned. Mm -hmm. So what is positioning? For me, the first thing I did is I got my license first yes because i knew what i wanted god to do for me yeah and because i wanted god to give me a car the first thing i did is i got my license so my license was a point of con a point of contact and a prayer point that i was using say god i already have my license <laughs> all i need is a car <laughs> all i need is a car so challenge god in that saving obviously from your monthly salary right yes yes so also having um, an attitude and just be disciplined and save. Hello, you know, being a lady, especially you want to buy shoes, you want you hair, want you want to see. When I set my priorities, I'm very strict when it comes to my priorities. So for me, when I'm saving for something, I get rid of things that are not necessary. So get rid of things that are not. If you know you can, you, you you can do without nails, you know you can do without uh, hair, you know you can do without shoes. You have shoes, <laughs> you know you can do without a new handbag every month. Yeah. Get rid of that. That is why even the people that know me, they know I'm not a fashionista person. <laughs> but just, just look how she's looking. <laughs> Just me. I'm not a person who gets excited with the new trend, everything that is coming. I have to buy. No, because I have trained myself to be very content and also yeah. not only being content but being so very, very disciplined. So be very disciplined. Be very, very disciplined. You can do away with certain, certain things. things. I've had this hair since, it should be 2018 now. And you think it's still flawless. She's still, you know. Just take it for steam ponding, you blow the hair, turn it, and what? You don't need to buy hair every month. You yeah. don't need to buy a new handbag every month. If I show you the handbag I'm using, you're going to run away. Yeah. But you know, just have priorities. That is your money, guys. The rest is against yourself and nobody else.
All right, guys. So I'm sure we've heard it. Please pick up some wisdom from there. I'm sure. Ish, passion. You know, set your priorities right and mm. all that. Be content with what you have and yeah. stuff like that. So you've heard it all. So what tips would you give to um anyone out there who's like thinking of buying a car, a house, maybe mm. just one thing or another. Maybe for someone they're 15 and maybe they want to buy a car. I mean, a bag or shoes. First and foremost, put God at the center of every plan. He actually exceeds all our expectations so have an expectation that god will exceed so if you don't have any expectation don't expect god to exceed there's nothing there yeah you know so have um a vision as well not only are you going to have a vision but also be disciplined save Mm -hmm. saving god guys it's not (laughs) old-fashioned no no not at all it's not old-fashioned have a prayer life and also be passionate about whatever you're doing and start small <laughs> it is not about how big you start start small yeah. i was just talking to a few people that they wanted some 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 insight on career and all and i was saying you know what at this time there are a lot of places that are offering internships you know and paid some are even paid internship don't look at it to say it has to be paid if you find if you have an opportunity to even uh do an internship even if it's not paid but they're able to just maybe help with transport money and everything do you know that you are learning something and you're getting experience in that place as you're doing your internship and trust me how god works is that in that place you may even be employed so don't wait you've got a degree yes don't wait for somebody to offer you the job that you want start small even the small internship go for it go for them so sometimes it's nothing about money no it's not let your passion drive you and as you're doing it money will come yes definitely then apart from that you mentioned doing school doing a job and all that and ministry because guys when there's no covid (laughs) yeah every (laughs) poster every weekend this weekend she's here she's there so how do you balance that um how i balance school and law is not easy guys <laughs> it's not easy so balancing school balancing work and also balancing ministry as well and social life so being in a place where you you just have priorities and have a balanced life balance yourself for me i know every time time is money guys <laughs> so every time for me it takes so i know that from eight to to five i'm going to be at work i know that from nine to maybe uh zero one i'm going i'm going to be studying then i'm going to sleep so to, a day has 24 hours in it make sure that you you value every hour and make sure you attach every hour with something what I mean by that is that make sure you plan, guys. Have a plan, a to-do list. I'm not good at that because most of the things, I just keep them at the back of my mind. But if you're able to, you can have a to-do list. Make sure when you wake up in the morning, you know from 8 to this time you're doing this, from this to this time you're doing this. Be consistent as well. There's this post that, that says um, your success in, is in what you do consistently. Yes. So it's in your daily routine, not today, not after today, two weeks. Not this year, definitely. Yeah, so be consistent, whatever you're doing. But then have a proper plan. Have a proper plan. I manage. I manage to study. I manage to, to do my small, small businesses because I still do my small, small businesses as well. I manage to go for work. I manage to, to do my ministry. But then the most important thing, asking God to help. You can't do it on your own. How oh, by strength shall no man prevail? It's not by power. Ah. No, by might. Yeah. But it is really by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Alright, you guys, that was about it. Um, thank you so very much. Thank you. Hello, if you don't subscribe after all this data, <laughs> do you know people pay? <laughs> So, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please, please subscribe and leave your comments there. Yeah, we want to hear from you guys. So don't yes. forget to like this video as well and share it with your friends. So yeah, thank you so very much for watching to the end. Bye. See you Bye-bye. in the next video. Thank you.